anytime we have an electric charge that is moving through a magnetic field, that electric charge will feel a magnetic force as a result of that magnetic field. Now at the same exact time, if an electric current is moving through a conducting wire, that electric current will create a magnetic force around that wire. Now the question is, since magnetic force and magnetic field are vectors, that implies they have direction as well as magnitude. Now how exactly do we determine the direction of the magnetic field produced by our electric current and how do we determine the magnetic force that acts on the electric charge that moves within a magnetic field. So to determine our direction, we essentially have to apply the right hand rule. So the right hand rule is a tool that helps us determine the direction of the magnetic field as well as the direction of magnetic force. So there are three forms of the right hand rule. Each form tells us something about our either magnetic field or our magnetic force. So let's begin with right hand rule number one. Right hand rule number one is essentially used to indicate the direction of the magnetic field that is produced by an electric current that is moving through a conducting wire. Let's suppose we have the following region of wire and our electric current given by I is moving in the negative direction along the x-axis as shown by the following arrow. Now because this electric current is moving through our wire, it will produce a magnetic field. To determine the direction of the magnetic field produced, we apply the right hand rule number one. So, we basically take our right hand and we wrap our fingers around the wire so that our thumb points in the same direction as our electric current. So in this case, our electric current points in the negative direction along the x-axis. So we wrap it this way so that our thumb points in the same direction. And that means that our fingers will indicate the direction of our magnetic field B. So our magnetic field consists of concentric circles that point in the following direction that form a clockwise pathway of magnetic field. So once again we take our right hand rule, we wrap our fingers around the wire and the direction of our fingers will indicate the direction of our magnetic field. Now if we reverse the direction of our electric current, if it now points in the positive direction along the x-axis, we simply have to point our thumb in the opposite direction so we still have the concentric circles but now they point in the counterclockwise direction. Now let's move on to the second form of the right hand rule known as right hand rule number two. Now right hand rule number two essentially helps us indicate, helps determine the direction of the magnetic force that acts on an electric current moving through a wire as a result of a magnetic field in which the wire is found in. So let's suppose this region of space as shown has a magnetic field B that points in the positive direction along the x-axis and we have a wire that contains an electric current that runs in the positive direction along the y-axis as shown. So to determine our direction of the magnetic force that acts on the wire as a result of this magnetic field, we apply right hand rule number two. So we take our right hand and we point our fingers in the direction of our electric current. So we point it upward along the positive direction along the y-axis. Next, we take our fingers and we curl our fingers in the direction of our magnetic field B. So we curl it in this direction. So we go this way, then we go this way, and then we extend our thumb and the thumb points in the same direction as our magnetic force 
that acts on our wire as a result of this magnetic field. So we go up, we curl this way, we extend and we see the force points into the board, into the page. Now, if our electric current was reversed, we simply point downward, then we extend this way, we curl our fingers this way, we extend our thumb, and the thumb will point in the opposite direction, it will come out of the board. So, let's move on to right hand rule number three. Right hand rule number three essentially indicates the direction of the magnetic force that acts on a positive electric charge Q moving in a magnetic field B. So, let's suppose we have the following region of space that contains a uniform magnetic field B that points into the board as described by these blue axes, and we have a positive electric charge that is moving in the following general direction. So, to find the force, we simply take our right hand, we point the fingers in the direction of the velocity, so we point up, then we curl our fingers in the direction of our magnetic field, which is essentially inward. Then we extend the thumb and the thumb points in the direction of our magnetic force. So up, we curl inside, we extend the thumb, and the thumb will point in the negative direction along the x-axis. Now, this rule works for positive charge. Now, if the charge is negative, we can still apply this rule, but at the end, we have to reverse the direction of our force. So, if this was a negative charge that was traveling in the same direction, in the same exact magnetic field, we still apply the right hand rule number three, and we find that the force points this way, and because it's negative, we simply reverse our direction. So if this was a negative charge, the force would act in this direction, in the positive direction, along the x-axis.